Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to share the screen of your laptop with a Cisco WebEx registered video endpoint. This is in guest mode, so there is no software required. There are no cables required. There's no dongles required. There's no anything required outside of your laptop with a browser and a WebEx registered video endpoint. Let's dive in and check it out firsthand. To share your screen as a guest, walk up to the touch interface of the Cisco video system. In most cases, this will be a touch 10. In the case of the WebEx board, it will be the touch screen itself. Tap the share screen button. You'll be greeted with a screen that looks something like this. At the bottom of the screen, you'll notice a message that says, you can also go to devices.webex.com and enter this code. The code will vary, of course. Uh, this code is used for security purposes. The code refreshes frequently, so you'll have to type the key code in uh, as it's presented. Next, open a web browser and go to devices.webex.com. You'll want to type in this nine digit or nine character code that's presented on the screen uh, into devices.webex.com and click the next button. You'll see an authenticating message and then you'll be greeted with the name of the endpoint itself, in this case demo board as it is a WebEx board, and finally, there is an enter four digits shown on device message. If you look at the screen of the device, digits will appear in the upper right hand corner. Simply type these into the browser to confirm the dual factor authentication. Finally, click connect. You'll then have the option to disconnect or share your screen. Clearly, we want to share our screen in this case. A security based message box will appear to verify that you do in fact want to share your screen. You can choose a specific application or to share your entire screen. A preview will be shown. You can click allow. And after a few moments, your screen will be shared to the video device. When you're done sharing, simply hit the stop sharing button. You'll be prompted to confirm, click yes. At this point, you'll still be connected. If you want to completely disconnect from the device, click disconnect. Hopefully that was a helpful introduction to guest sharing with Cisco video endpoints. If you have questions, comments, tips, or tricks, leave them in the video comments section below. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again sometime soon.